Hello friends and welcome to this video. My name is Devruti Patil. In this video we are going to see the solver for MATLAB software. So in this video we are going to see the solver for solving the root of equation, solving the simultaneous equation, ordinary differential equation and evaluating the integrals. So let's start with the getting the solution for the root of equation using the MATLAB solver. So in root of equation we have given the equation for which we need to find the root and also we have given the initial guess which is denoted by x0 value so initial guess is may be given or we need to assume the guess and the solver syntax will be f0 in bracket f comma x0 where f is the function and x0 is the initial guess so let's see how to write in MATLAB this is the MATLAB interface in the command window we have to write the MATLAB solver syntax so before writing the syntax we have to define the given function using variable f and using the syntax inline. So writing f is equal to inline in bracket and in single inverted code write the given equation that is a cos of x. Cos of x will be written as cos in bracket x minus 3x. So 3x will be written as 3 into x plus 1. Then hit the enter key. So function will be assigned to the variable f then we have to write the solver syntax f0 in bracket f comma given initial guess so initial guess given in this case is 0 so write as a 0 and hit the enter key f is the given function so you will be get the answer as 0 0.6071 this is the root of the given equation cos of x minus 3x plus 1 now let's see the next topic Next is the simultaneous equation and in this type we have given the set of simultaneous equation for which we have to find the solution. So the given equation will be written in the form of ax is equal to b and the same equation will be written in the augmented form of matrix in this way. So this first set of coefficient matrix will be denoted by a and the second set as a constant matrix will be denoted by b variable and the solver syntax will be used as inverse of a into b or we may use the line sol in bracket a comma b so let's see how to use the matlab solver first we have to define the coefficient matrix and constant matrix the coefficient matrix will be defined by using the alphabet a or we may say the variable which is equal to in square bracket we have to define the values that is 1 3 6 then give the semicolon and after each value you have to give the space or you may give the comma so after first row is complete give the semicolon then 3 minus 1 4 again give the semicolon and the third row is 1 minus 4 and 2 after this give the semicolon to suppress the answer and then write the constant matrix using the variable b so b is equal to again in square bracket 2, 9 and 7. So first row value is 2. After first row give the semicolon because it is a singular matrix. So after each value you need to give the semicolon otherwise you will be get the error in the solver. So after that second value is 9 semicolon 7 and then give the semicolon to suppress the answer. Hit the enter key and then you can write the solver syntax as inverse of A into B. Here take the care that you have to write the proper alphabet that is a A because we have defined this co coefficient matrix by using the capital A letter because it is a case sensitive one so if you use here the small a then also here you need to use small a and if you use capital A then capital A likewise then into B so inverse of A into B and when you hit the enter key you will be get the answer so the first value will be x solution second value is the y solution and third value is the z solution so in same way you can also use the line solve so let's try so syntax is line solve s o l b line solve and in bracket a comma b so a comma b hit the enter key you will be get the same answer so you may use inverse of a into b or line solve a comma b now let's see the third topic 
the third topic is ordinary differential equation in which the differential equation is given to us the initial value of x0 is given and y0 is given so here the initial value of x0 is 0 and the initial value of y0 is 1 and we need to find the value of y at a given value of x and then we also have given the h value that is the step size if the step size is not given then we need to calculate it and after calculating we can use the solver syntax so in solver syntax we have to use in square bracket x comma y which is equal to ode 23 so this is the solver syntax instead of 23 you can use the different number like 45 or 113 generally we are using the 23 is number so the solver syntax is ODE23 then in bracket we have to use F comma in square bracket X0 colon H colon XN so X0 is the initial value of X H is the step size and XN is the final value of X that is at which we have to find the value of Y comma Y0 that is the initial value of Y0 so here the X0 H and XN is nothing but the X path so in this way you can write the solver syntax so let's see in the MATLAB define the function first using f variable and inline syntax so write as a f is equal to inline in bracket in single inverted code write the given equation as x plus y then hit the enter key so this function is assigned to variable f and then write the solver syntax which is square bracket x comma y is equal to in ODE 23 this is the solver syntax in bracket F comma in square bracket we have to use x0 colon h value colon xn value that is the x pair here x0 value is 0 h value is a point 0.1 then xn value is a 1 at which we require to find the value of y and y0 value is 1 so let's use these values so right here 0 colon 0.1 that is h value colon xn value is 1 then after bracket give the comma and use the y0 value that is a 1 and hit the enter key so we'll be get this y values for corresponding values of x so this is the for x is equal to 0 you will be get the value is 1 which is the initial values for x is equal to 0.1 you will be get the value as 1.11 similar fashion for x is equal to 1 you will be get the value as 3.4364 so in this way you can write the solver syntax and get the solution for ordinary differential equation now let's move to the next topic the next topic is to evaluate the integral in which the integration equation is given the initial limit and final limit is given so initial limit is will be denoted by x0 value final limit will be denoted by xn value and the solver syntax will be used for the single integration is quad f comma x0 comma xn or we may use the quad v in bracket f comma x0 comma xn generally the quad v syntax will be most applicable so let's see how to write in the MATLAB let's define the function first again using the inline syntax so write f is equal to inline in bracket in inverted quote so given equation is 1 divided by 1 plus x square so it will be written as 1 divided by in bracket 1 plus x square so 1 plus x square x square will be written as x cap symbol and 2 or you may write as x into x hit the enter key the function is assigned to the variable f then use the solver syntax that is a quad v quad v in bracket f comma x0 value that is the initial limit of the integration which is given as 0 comma final limit or xn value which is given as a 6 and hit the enter key you will be get the answer as 1.4056 so in this way you can find the solution of the different methods using the solver syntax so MATLAB solver gives you the exact answer and by using the different numerical methods you will be get the approximate answer thank you for watching the video